Hey guys, this is MacBook Gaming, and today I wanted to show you guys this application. It's called NotchNuck, and the URL for this one is https uh, load.cafe slash NotchNuck, because they do sell different software as well. And I did notice that if you <clears throat> tweet, um, do you get 35% off of $25 to buy the key? And this is how it works so up here if you have any audio running it would show in here and then you can also link your calendar so just on hover you can look at your different plans here in your calendar and you can see what's going on that day so it updates that and then this is scary but there you go the mirror just really fast for the camera and yeah, let's try it out. I'm um, gonna go to YouTube, just play this, and now this is up here. So as you can see, it works really good. Another thing I really like about this one is, this is my software side note. So previously, I used a software called, called Yoink, but now I can just put a file here and I can access it anywhere. And then if I wanted to put it here, I can just grab the file from here and then put it here. So it's kind of nice. Previously I used a software called Yoink that essentially did the same thing. And let's see, I would put it here and then from here, and you know, I can transfer it here. So, there you go. That's kind of what I used it for, but this does both. So, it has audio here. So, if you have, like, Audible playing, you have um, anything um, in your calendar you wanted to look at, and then if you just want to check yourself, um, that would all be from this application. And it's a one-time purchase of $25 or 35% off if you tweet that. And then let's go ahead and just go here. So essentially, I toggled this um, checkbox right here. Always open and hover. And that will now open it. It used to just add like a little notch. And then when I need it, it would finally go up. But now I did that. And it's customizable. You can add more padding if you'd like. But I, I like it where it's at. And then... Handler, you can also reset the settings. You can quit the software here. Gestures. So here, when hovering the notch. That's kind of cool. And it tells you kind of all the stuff it does. Invert media, gesture actions. Live activities, HUD replacement. The setting requires you to provide notch nook with accessibility permissions. You know, I might as well do that. <laughs> and this, this is how you, you can um, obviously control everything. So if you don't want the calendar, it'll just split it between the media player and the mirror here. But I do like that. And if you don't, don't want the media player, you can hide that as well. And there is more upcoming features and like notes is coming up and quick applications to launch applications fast uh, to do. Um, I did want to let you know there's a couple bugs in this uh, software because it's so new, but so far I like it. Um, let's see, I'm going to turn off media player. So mirror will be in the middle or, oh, you can actually just change it like that. And I actually want the media at the very left, mirror in the middle, and then calendar on the left. So that's what I want. And here you can just have the width. So you can make it as big or as small as you want. So I think I'm good with like 12. I seem to like that. Dropped area. This is like, you know, this, this file. So there you go. And then license, I'm not gonna show that, but yeah, this is a really good application. Um, I think a lot of people will like it. Um, you guys just need to try it out for yourself, but between the tray and everything else, I really like it. And 
yeah it's so far so good i definitely will let you guys know if um there's anything else to report but between those couple things i like it so far but anyways thank you for watching this video and i hope you guys have a good one and i'll see you later